who are you guys and uh, what are you doing here? Um, that's a great question. Um, <laughs> Recently joined the awesome team here at Three Floyds. I'm Chris Boggess, I'm the brewmaster uh, here at Three Floyds. Been in that position for about 11 years. Talking about the metal connection with Three Floyds. We had a buddy uh, named Barnaby that started working here in 2005, I think. It might have been 2004 even, but mm -hmm. super into metal, super into music, punk rock, everything. And, and so was Nick, and he kind of brought that out and Nick too. And he and I worked before together in Houston, Texas, where we always had just music blasting. And then I came on in 2006, and we basically just listened to Slayer and Black Sabbath all day and made beer. A lot of musicians are now brewers or can kind of go back and forth. Brewing's not a great job as far as like, it's a lot of work, it's hot, it's, I, I don't understand how anyone could listen to anything but metal. Right, right. Because it is, it's pretty, it's pretty grungy and. Um, it goes with the machinery. Yeah, and the pace. You can't just lay around. Right. Things are moving fast, it's hot, it's uncomfortable. Um, so metal, I think, is the best fit for it. Yeah, I know one guy that listened to Nora Jones though, playing, breaking. Bring beer. I was horrified. Let's talk a bit about Dark Lord Day and where that came from and what it is. Um, well, Nick brewed this super strong beer back in 2003, and uh, people just showed up to, to, to drink it. They would line up for it. When Barbie came on, he and Nick's like, well, we should just throw a party. And that's also kind of how the bands got involved with us. Yeah, so Dark Lord, the beer, it was like everything turned up to 11. It's an F you to pretty much everything, which is metal and punk rock. And then it became a big bottle share experience with the beer nerds that kind of created this underground culture of beer. Some of it's got a lot of really obscure beers and breweries, some notoriety, without having a marketing budget, without having distribution all over the planet. And some of these events and cult-like beers, Dark Lord being what we're talking about here, like that's what really kind of made it more of a household name, because I don't think Dark Lord's ever been for sale on a, in a liquor store. No. Nick gets contacted, and Sarah probably also, but it, like, a lot by managers or media people that represent certain bands or projects or artists. And it's strictly marketing, which to, for us is like, no, it's not. Right. Why? What Chris was alluding to earlier is that he's a fan, first day yeah. of the music, and then the beer sometimes happens out of that organically. I don't know, for us, it's, it seems more like our our chance to assault people with music we want them to hear. Force our things. tastes. Yeah. yeah. So talk a little bit about the Crack the Sky beer that you guys did with Mastin on. Oh, that was a good beer, too. Yeah. Kind of doing There's so many, I forget. <laughs> did you have it? No. I don't know. Uh... Do we have one in there? When did the artwork kind of um, come into I think it's, it's always always been there. Like I mentioned, the Sea Monkey font. I mean, since day one, wanted to be different, unique. It's a it's a big deal for Nick and and for us. So yeah, I think Nick's personality kind of comes screaming through being a kind of a D and D kid. Um, well, it hasn't gone away, but uh, <laughs> just his love of science fiction, fantasy. Um, right. But there's usually a story. For sure. Behind it, and it's usually like three very separate, unrelated things that somehow came together in Nick's head. It's pretty amazing. 
amazing that Three Floyds has attained this, you know, kind of legendary status for a brewery that doesn't really distribute outside of like four or five states. You know, it's not that accessible. It helps. Uh, it helps yes. being next to one of the biggest cities in the country, though. That's the best city, in my opinion. Yeah, I can't really say why. I, don't know, I think you were talking about it earlier. There's just like I, we try to keep it real, and people like that. I guess. I think people know that Three Floyds is solid commitment to quality. Um, that I think if people are going to spend their hard-earned money on a beer, they feel pretty good to go to good. Solid bet. Can I ask you a question? Yeah. What what bands that have you not done a beer with that you would be oh, really excited to do? With? Morbid Angel. <laughs> Bolt Thrower. They turned us down. Carcass. Chased down Carcass for a little bit. Yeah. Awesome. Motley Crue broke up. <laughs> what? 